So I was thinking the other day, and I was saying, you know what? It'd be a great idea to foil binomials with radicals. So you can. And guess what? That's all you have to do, all right? You guys don't need to make this any more confusing than you have to. Um, all you're simply doing is just using foil. I, again, prefer to use the box just because, especially when looking at something like this, when you're writing your radicals, guys, it's very, very easy to just get things messed up. So it, again, remember doing the box method. All you're going to do is just write, just write one term on one side and one term on the other. Depending on how many terms you have in each parentheses, that's how many boxes you're going to have. So since I'm doing a binomial times a binomial, I'm going to have two sides times two sides. Then what we simply always do is just find the area of each box. So you multiply length times width. So Justin, I do 2 times 6, which is 12. 2 times negative square root of 2 is a negative 2 square root of 2. 6 times 3 is 6 square root of 3. And square root of 3 times negative square root of 2 is going to be a negative square root of 6. All right. Now, remember, how I, why can't you do 2 times square root of 4? Didn't we already talk about this? Um, so 2 times square root of 4 does not equal the square root of 8, nor does it equal 8, right? You can't multiply a number inside of a square root. So 2 times square root of 4 is just 2 times square root of 4, unless you can simplify your square root, which in this case is 2 times 2, which equals 4. All right. So that's why I got those answers. Just make sure, because I don't want students, um, Sam, to multiply them and multiply a number into a radical. But when you have two radicals, you can multiply inside. All right? And we talked about this before. Square root of 9 times the square root of 4 is equal to the square root of 36, right? That's 3 times 2. And this is also equal to 6. That's also equal to 6. So when you multiply, you can multiply in as long as they're both radicals. But if one's not taking the root of, you cannot do it. So now, do we have any like terms? Yeah. No. Remember, you have to have the same root to, to, to oh, I'm sorry, you have to same have the same radicand to take the, to have like terms. So guess what? We don't have any like terms. So here's our answer. And we can't simplify any, anyone further either. So that's it. Done. Done, son. Do you already have your other homework? Is that what you're working on? Are you working on this homework? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay.